Welcome to my doghouse for another episode. Let's talk about something that people forget about. It is called Thank a Mother. When is the last time you thanked your mother, your grandmother, even if they're passed away? Have you ever prayed and thanked them for the life they give you? Mothers sacrifice so much. I know there's mothers out there that don't do as good a job, but their feelings are still there. I've seen people that had bad intentions as far as they wanted children, but they still had feelings for the children. When's the last time you went and said, Thank you, Mom, or not even your mother. Thank a mother for the things that they do in this world. We, as guys, sometimes forget the sacrifices they make for us. Not only our mothers, but other mothers in this country willing to sacrifice for their children, and we kind of ignore it. We think, well, the guy's a breadwinner. He does this, and he does that, and he does that. We get in that mindset, and it's wrong. Because the mother is actually the one that holds the family together. Sometimes it's emotional, where you're, the other partner might be physical, but with the mother, it's emotional. It's a heart that will never stop giving to any of their kids. There's, my mom had 10 kids, my dad had two before they got married. So out of 12 kids, that heart and that desire for each one of them was still there. It never went away for any of us. And I know other families are the same way. I grew up around a lot of great people, great parents. And yeah, I've, me, myself, I've always had a mom and dad. And I know that most of the people I grew up around did too. Not all of them. But the majority of them did. Even the ones that didn't, they also had a great sacrifice. They're willing to put up whatever, as a mother, to do things right for their children. They sacrifice so much. They do a lot of the grocery stop, and they do a lot of the cooking. Except in my home, I do most of the cooking. But things like that, they are out there doing to make things better. They sacrifice in their own well-being for themselves, or not for themselves, but for their kids. They could have been out doing something more, maybe financially be better off, but they are willing to sacrifice the dollar signs for the love of their children. And the love of their children will always prevail. Yeah, there's some that don't, and that's part of the problem. But the majority of the mothers will do anything for their kids within reason. I mean, you don't want to go break the law for them, but, you know, when they have respect for you as a mother... They will do and sacrifice whatever it takes to make you happy. They're there for you when you're sad. They're there for you when you're sick. If you've hurt yourself, they're there for you then. They're there for when you're happy. They're even there when they know you did something wrong. It breaks their heart. And that is a sacrifice for the, them too. They're still wanting to stand up for their child and do what is needed, even if you've done wrong. You know, that's, in life, a great mother can never be replaced. I'm not saying that my mother was the only great mother out there, because that's a lie. Every mother that puts her sacrifice themselves for their children is a great mother. I don't care if one mother doesn't like a different mother. The fact is, they still sacrifice for their children. 
and we don't recognize them. We, you know, say thank you, mothers. It don't have to be just Mother's Day. That's just a fallacy of one day. It should be every day. Thank a mother. Thank them for the things they do in this life. Without them, we would be worse off. Thanking a mother is the greatest thing a person can do, or one of the greater things a person can do. When you sacrifice yourself, and I'm talking about you guys, and be objective. How many of you could have done what you did without a mother, a great mother? Sometimes a great mother may not be paternal. It could be others, but it's still a sacrifice they make for you. And sometimes as children, even when some get older, they think that their mothers and fathers were the worst things in the world till they start to realize what really was going on. They don't realize sacrifices that mother had done. They don't realize what it meant to put their lives on hold to make sure they sacrifice for their kids. Yes, it becomes their life too. My mother sacrificed a lot. Now, we lived out in the middle of nowhere on a ranch, and I mean it was in the middle of nowhere. It was almost 50 miles into Arco where I went to junior high and high school, maybe around 20 in elementary school. But her sacrifice was she got up every morning made sure our breakfast was ready. When we got up, it was hot and ready. All five days a week, constantly. This, And we had to be on the bus around 7.30. I think that's when the bus showed up. But when we got home, if dinner wasn't ready, it was very close to being ready. And in the meantime, she would cook lunch for my dad breakfast stew and dinner and this went on and on you don't think that was a sacrifice for her it was it would be a sacrifice to any mother and any wife sometimes we treat the women in our lives like dirt we should not be doing that we should be holding them up in the highest regards because of the sacrifice they make for their families. It's a un... Well, I'm going to say something different. But it's a unbiased on their part to make sure you are taken care of. They're willing to sacrifice everything for their children. They don't get the praise they need. They we just come to the society, we don't care. But you know what? Them mothers do care. They care about their children. They see other children, how they're treated. Just because it may not be your mom, thank a mother for what they do. They sacrifice everything for us growing up. Thank your wife. Thank your grandmother. Thank God we have mothers that sacrifice for the better good of our country and themselves. God does appreciate them.